when we last left off, we finished chapter three, I think. I have no idea what to expect from this chapter or how long it's going to take. Because <laughs> apparently I heard the last one was just longer than other chapters, so maybe this is going to be a little shorter than that one. <clears throat> also, I might not be as, like, I don't know, dramatic with the voice readings <laughs> because of my throat, but... I mean, I kind of just played something else, but it's like, no, I haven't played this in, what, a month? <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let's just go back to this one. To hell with my throat. <laughs> oh shit, my pills! Wow, but where are they going? God damn it. <sighs> Can't make it easy, huh? Yeah, come back. I want my pills. Pills! Come on. Wait a minute. Come on. Home? I guess home is in that direction. Gimme. I want my pills. Oh! Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Hi, Fran. Well, I need the... <laughs> Uh, do I still have my knife? Ho! Oh! First of all, I'm glad my things are working. Second of all, why does it look like Fran, Fran has a goddamn mustache? Third of all, thank you, Raven! <laughs> thank you so much! I hope you're doing good. Right. You're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. It's like five hours beyond that, dude. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Oh, man, my... The fact that my voice got deep from my cold is actually going to be helpful here. <laughs> anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Thank you, Raven. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. Do you not remember me from chapter two? At least I think that was him in chapter two. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. I said I would, and I have. <laughs> Wait, when? <laughs> Aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They all believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. Oh, what do you mean by that? They blame me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. <laughs> well, okay. If that's what you mean. Also, I'm gonna turn off my mic every now and then, just so, like, just so I can cough. <laughs> Hang on, like, there we go. <clears throat> Don't worry, my throat is fine. <laughs> but let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Who gives a fuck about them? They were kind of crazy. Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat. Abraham Lincoln! I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. See? I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth. Fact. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Hell yeah, let's go! I can't let you do that. I don't know you. Uh, I mean, fair enough. Come on, man. This is our job. This is our goal. Also, I need to fix my night bot. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. Alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. 
Oh my god, it is Abraham Lincoln. He's just dead. <gasps> Ooh. Behold, be it Ford flying machine. What do you think? Can it fly? <laughs> Can it really fly? What up? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. It's been that... <laughs> it's currently 743. We're late. That sounds great, but... Why is it at 235, sir? I don't understand. Is time going to be the big mechanic here? It's when time becomes slower. That gives us a chance to enter the Ultra Reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're staying at the endless limits of the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? No. No, I don't. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You could help by getting water and fire berries, alright? I don't know how, but sure. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Ooh. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries and water? Because I'm fucking hungry and thirsty. What did you think? I want some juice. Well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. Who are they again? You never know. Do you know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Yay! They're back! Speaking of water, man. <clears throat> invisible my eyes. Oh, yes, about that time. Sorry, I need to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. I speed ran that shit. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Drug time! Oh. Hey, buddy, could you get the fuck off my corpse? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. I look completely deformed. Oh, God. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. Oh, wait. Is it the one that jumped from the other place? Because <clears throat> I remember. Like, friend jumped, I think. You're the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? What do I have? I sell my matches. I have. Oh, yeah, I have a book. Is there anything? Hold on. I wonder why Paul just gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Maybe it can't be open at all. Uh... I'm gonna go. Water and fire berries. That's where we're- uh, Oh, hi! Get out! You're trespassing on my territory! Hell! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all run and bloody and you don't have any organs. I think you're misunderstanding the situation. This is how I usually look. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a de de deadly worm? A deadly worm? 
No, no, not a dead worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. As you return to the soil, creatures took men don't eat anymore. I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Oh, hello. There you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name's Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask why did you touch the moose in the first place? <laughs> Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Maybe. Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. Wait, what? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. <laughs> Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. I can't take the fireberries. They're on fire! Can I, like, throw something at it? I don't know. Chuck the knife at it. I could the berries off the tree, but they're on fire! I can... Okay, yeah, I can still get down. Hell, well, I don't want to go there. Oh, jeez, hi. Are you those shiny insects that got stuck on trees because you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free of their curiosity. Ah, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. That sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Uh, let me turn on these. Let me turn this off. Should we trust it word? I don't know, my dear. Let's pretend we do. <laughs> Let's just pretend. So we won't think we're scared of them, alright? Alright, kitty. I can do that. Wait! There's more here? Oh! I can't reach the water from here. Damn it. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Goodness. D wait, what? <coughs> Will you come to visit me when I die? <coughs> I always come to visit those whose time is left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. Uh... Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead! Yay! The question is, how the hell do we get these fireberries off? Wait, what happens if I... Oh! I can't just pull them off with my hands, they're firmly attached. What? There we go, okay. Ooh, that took a while. I got the berries. Oh. Alright, back to the drugs. Just gonna climb right down. What about the water? I have the water bucket here. Wait, maybe... hold on. We're not stuck, now leave us alone. What if we ask this lady for help? Oh! Oh, what? Wait, that works? Sure. That took forever. Tie a bucket to her hair? Why? That sounds insane. It's not insane. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket really tight. 
Thank you, you're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Can I get it back? The bucket is now full of water. Thank you, shiny insects. Let's go. Uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not even reading the boxes at this point. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, okay. That sounds mysterious and beautiful. <clears throat> now give me the water. God, that took forever. Here you go. Here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferns? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Burn me? Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. It's 234. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. <gasps> Yay! Let's go, Mr. Midnight. Slow ass cat! Now what? It's 236! There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. Oh, I forgot, I was giving him a deep voice. <clears throat> we'll soon be our way, our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Where is it? Palandra's told me about the different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers aren't easy to recognize. Why not now? Plot reasons! Shut up! Time proceeds as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode! Are you telling me the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? I don't want that! I want them now! Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say... Through time, you must explore and experience to understand. But I'm stupid! I need the answers now! Not when others tell you how or where to find them. I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But I'm not curious. I'm dumb. What do you think, son? Talking won't get you home? What thing, sir? What, why did I give her the deep voice? The machine needs some maintenance. And I think you do incredible work. Are you my fucking boss? You're the fire bears in the water you gathered them before. I need you to make me some jelly. I'm hungry. You'll need them to get the fuel mix and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you'll need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. And then when I enter a certain room, he's like, Excuse me, bitch, get out of there. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Uh, never done this before. That makes it more exciting! Have fun! <laughs> Alright, I'll go. Asshole. Alright, so what are- <gasps> Cat! Cat thingy! That's a huge spinning top. Wait, is this the thing that needs the water? No. Oh no! Science! Maybe we could connect this pink hose somewhere. Can I get the blue one? Oh god, no. Okay. Bro, I hate chemistry! Man, chemistry was like my worst subject. That was, like, the only subject where I ever got an F in, on anything. <laughs> and then what's this? Nothing. <clears throat> what, kind of th what kind of things this machine counts? This looks like a mathematical problem. 
I probably wouldn't know it. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Well, because it is. <gasps> what is this? It feels like something's missing. The keel requires a key for sure. <laughs> Alright, time to get on drugs. <gasps> hey, what's up? Are you here to kill it, Ward? I'm very sorry for what he did. I hope you can forgive me. Not really, I don't care. But give me your key. Thank you. There you go. <clears throat> In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But neither side could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. Aren't we all? And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds, <clears throat> it worked the creature of the night. He always came around in dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Also, the volume is low as high as fuck. It worked was a friend. It worked was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia, they decided this motherfucker must die <laughs> to get rid of it was once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die! They said. But they killed each other instead. Wait, what? Dead and gone. Fucking morons. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. Clara! <laughs> it's all your fault, Mia. Hold up, where's Clara? The network came to visit for the last time. And he said, Clara, where are you? <laughs> you are both trapped. In a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. Oh, is it the reason why they were together? The world has been mean to you. They sewed their bodies together. To prove that they could. Wait, what? They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Yay. Even if it works, I don't know what it does. <laughs> oh, hi, what's up? I forgot to give myself some love. Seconds, minutes, and hours, and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Okay. Oh, that just took me out of the drugs. Oh, wait, what's this? Reality, ultra reality. Chemical, oh god. Micronutrients and fire berries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Oh. The 
fire berries out on our fire into the vase. Ready? Can I take them out? No. I think this needs to be turned on in order for- Okay, wait. I have the matches. <clears throat> okay. Oh god, we have to do a whole ass science experiment. Okay. N166. And then, oh, we need to put it into, wait, what? Okay, then we put the R15 in here. Oh, God. Okay, 2PF, wait, no. So, A18, and then 2PF. Wait, can I put this, uh... Okay, done. Okay, wait. Thing that connects over to that one... Oh! <laughs> A18 to R15. Wait, can I combine these? Even if it works, I don't know what it does. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh! Okay, well, there's that. Okay, uh, now what? I just turn this on? Hmm. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing! The hole seems to be damaged. Wait, wait. Is it getting worse? Can we cut it? No. It's totally empty. Okay, this is the fuel, I think. Hey, Edward. What? <laughs> oh, no. Ah! What? What do we do? Oops, you crashed the computer? Oh! Oh no. Ah! Oh. What the f- Chicken! And my face! I'm good at Galaga, I promise! Oh. Yeah, word, I broke the machine. That didn't help, get, help me get anywhere. Oh, I see! Okay, wait. Okay, this I might be able to figure out. I think I did it right? <gasps> wait, wait, tape! There we go. Okay, well, I got the water. I got the water. What about the fuel? 
I still don't get it. What? Edward, what do I do? Oh! There's other stuff here. Wait. A hose. Okay, wait. Nectar? Whoa. Oh! Check! <laughs> Yay! I got an achievement! Oh! Here we go! Okay. There we go! Holy shit! God, that took forever! I am so sorry. Sorry. News flash. Local golf club runs out of cough medicine. Attempts to make her own evacuation warnings are in place. <laughs> Hi, Daz. <laughs> I'm trying to cook. Let me cook. I think I managed quite well, too. I did all you asked of me. Oh, God. This is going to be a pain to edit for the VOD. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits? I love rabbits! There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? I, I have a knife. We can just kill it. With all the things that little my ass. <laughs> Is it a chocolate rabbit, or one with horns and killer eyes? Or is it the one from Deathmark? It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. It's, it's just sitting there menacingly. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. Some big giant demon rabbit? Yeah, that's Deathmark! Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. I told you I'm stupid, Edward! Oh! There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? From what I see, it's just a toy. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. <coughs> All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. Don't touch my cat! <gasps> my cat! You bastard! Ooh, a battery. Okay. What the hell? We have a wrench. It could be useful. We could bonk fucking Abraham Lincoln in the head. Three. I got some carrots. Shake. Okay, so hold on. Are you Edward's other head? Okay, Anna. Des. Tree. Or try. Shank. Okay, steps. <laughs> Wait, you can't stab me. I'm non corporeal. Crap. Shank says. <laughs> Hi. Oh, 
It's a free country. I can stab whoever I want. <laughs> oh, that's not very cute. Oh, this has a little dress on it now. Big giant demon rabbit. <laughs> Hang on, I can kill it. Oh, but if it's hungry, I can give it this. Oh, well, done all I can do. Do I need another carrot? What's this? Maybe I can... Oh, it opened! Something's missing here. The battery. Mr. Midnight, don't take my cat! Are these different? Oh, it is! Six. Se. Eight or ten. Nine ends. Another eight or ten. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Mom? Dad? Are you... Oh. Damn it. Can I get off the pills? Keep hot water thrower. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. Let's do something. I don't have any water! Also, can I uh, open this? Hello? Hello? I was clearly wrong. The reset button. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, crap. Okay, wait. Five shank. Okay, wait. Crap. Let me get my notes app. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. I can't see very well. It's quite dark. This is why you took my goddamn cat! Happy birth- It's a merry on birthday! <coughs> oh, a birthday party! I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight! You lied to me, you asshole! I do like the cake. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. You didn't have to scare me! I'm very sorry I did fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat the cake. Fine. I actually have some cake downstairs. I'm gonna eat it, eat some after this. Yay! The 
cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. Pills, drugs, weed. And we have something very special from you. From all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Thanks. Can I open it now? Anyway, let's open it. <gasps> Ooh! A cat doll! Beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Eh, not really. <laughs> I'm so tired. I understand. But never forget, there's not only one truth. Time changes everything. You understand what I mean? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe? I feel a bit dizzy. That may be the ship going up and down. Because <laughs> I'm not piloting it. Blow out the candles now, dear. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go! And then everyone dies. The end. Gosh, shit! Oh dear, what's happening? Miss Midnight, are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship doesn't break. We're all gonna die! It was destroyed by the- Ah, oh, goddammit. There's one left alive, you have to get rid of it. How do I do that? Water that cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, you may be hiding from your eyes. Oh god. Me too. We have to find the Camilla. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Oh! Hey! water. There we go. Alright, hang on. I got the Kamala. Be gone, foul demon. going Edward I fixed it <laughs> What? Oh, I guess it went up. it went up then, right? Hold on. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. Die. Oh god, what is this? Come on, take a shower, you stinky. That's right, get the fuck off! Okay, it's... Oh, what now? It worked. We did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes. It's too late, dear. I can't take you home. God damn it! We're going down! It's not fair. Not fair. No, 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 no. I will always take care of you, my dear. Aww. Aw, that's sad. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Whee! The end. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it, everyone. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> but that's a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. All right. This is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. 
when she promised never to forget me, or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it would. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Are we on the fifth chapter? Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Chapter 4. Ah, damn it. <coughs> I thought we were on chapter 4. Uh, oh, hi. Did it work? Ow. Kitty, we're alive. We survived. Where are my meds? Oh, dear. Yes, we're alive. <coughs> hmm, the reward's gone. But he brought us home. We're just outside of town, friend. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, see? The bottle's empty. No! <laughs> Is this Edward's bicycle or mine? It's broken, so I can't ride it. <gasps> Civilization! Yes, it is. So where's, where's home? Oh my god, we got the civilization! <laughs> and here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. And then she's dead, right? Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. <laughs> uh, nope. Not that one. Or that. I took the key! Brand. But I haven't taken it. I didn't write that note. Ah, oh, man. We must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. <laughs> But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Ugh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, let me check something. Okay. In? Do you hear me? Open the door. <gasps> Bran, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, man. I won't go back to that asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? <laughs> you don't need to know. Leave now, please. Hm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight's inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. Why can't I do that? Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. May I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. <laughs> no! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Bran... I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. I swear to God, if he pulls out the... The cat's body, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Get the fuck away from me, you creep! Aw, oh, man. Help me! Oh, 
Oh, what the? No! I'm sorry, man. I want to hurt you or scare you. Too late! Don't you worry about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Wait, what? <laughs> I found things I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Family murder on Hayes Street. Oh, God. Let's see. Some of the bodies were perfectly sliced, which caused quick instantaneous death. <laughs> she was found in the woods, frozen to death. Who told her to lie about me? I'm not dead. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. Wait, what? When I looked at it in the library, the levels of... Ectoplomatin? Were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is, if the ecto... Plomatin is too high. The door will open too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. Great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir. And travel to other wor worlds. An ultra-reality? That must be an effect of the duotine. Nothing more. It's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Wait, what? <coughs> Wait, what? I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My... Oh. Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, Doctor? Who told you that? <laughs> you did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, that's true. I'm being gaslit. <laughs> oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remmer. He took my parents, and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in the Thirsta with the Galantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward Galantris. My kitty is all alone. Galantris? Edward. Please, Fran. Galantris is the doctor of a Thirsta. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. <coughs> Give me one sec. <clears throat> Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. I wasn't good at all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. Twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clarinia case. Two girls in the asylum who claimed to be a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly see the reactions of DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to that asylum. Don't worry, I won't. Are you with me so you can help me? Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. The Apologist was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? <laughs> well, not tonight. Hey, yo. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. And he's carrying a shovel in his coat. Oh, God. This is your parents' resting place. And yours. So I didn't want to see this shit. I'm 
sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Give me a sec. Let me fix something. There we go. What do you mean? What do you mean by right, sir? I mean, if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And with what do you need my help? Find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Diem. I'll see you soon. Can I find- can I look- where's my cat? He says sell my purse. Wait, what's in here? The cat's tummy has a keyhole. Huh. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody's down there. Hmm. What else do I have? I have Paltrus's box. <gasps> oh, teddy bear! Gross. Is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? I love you, little bear. You must take care of my parents. I, I want that bear. Can I have it? Haven't you rested enough already? Hmm. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Take the car! Run! Oh, crowbar! Oh, cool! Okay, hang on. Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio! <coughs> I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Oh, a little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. And I have four of them. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Leather for the mating ritual, you say? I'm not into that. That's quite interesting. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find the leather! Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? But will I ever find that? All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, I'm gonna go uh, help your weird kinky shit, I guess. I can... Wait, maybe I can grab the- from the car seat? <gasps> oh shit! That worked! Okay, here's your leather! Freak. <laughs> Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. Yay! Sebastian? I'm alright, miss. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, uh, Fabio? Run, Fabio! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me! I have the leather! We can start the ritual! Pineco? 
bones are kinky. There's nothing in here I can use. What? I dig with a broom. What? Anybody follow them? There you are. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. I didn't have to do shit. Uh, I may or may not have torn up your car. <laughs> Oops. Alright, let's go. Well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffins. I got you! I had a crowbar in my car, but I couldn't find it. Ah! Uh! You want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, I'll open them. Oh, hi! Oh my god! Father! Oh my god, mother! A bit too skinny. Hello? I'm not- I'm not in the coffin, but my cat is! I can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is at home. Well, I'll name you Albert. Why Albert? Out of all the names you could have picked. Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No! I just feel really bad doing this. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. <coughs> it can't be. I did find my kitty, you have to believe me. I swear, I'm not going insane. Take me home, and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Um, also, don't mind the fact that I tore up your your seat. <gasps> oh, God damn it! Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I take away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. English? Ow! 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 I died. Thank you forever, I guess. You broken little girl. <coughs> the house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness, you must wake up. Ow. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. 